to the channel first of all just login into your credentials and activate the cloud shell and this lab is quite easy just task number two take time to update the score okay so just activate let me just increase the text size Come on the task number one, copy the first command, run over here, then copy second command, run over here and click on authorize. Now it will take few seconds, so just wait for that. Meanwhile, you can just copy the third command. is done now run the third command and if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue so it's done now now I click on check my progress for task number three and sometimes this task take time to update the score so do not worry about this And as you can see, I got a score. Now search for VM instance. Open this thing in new tab. From here, click on this cloud manager and uh, open this external IP. <coughs> and please pay attention from here guys. Okay. Because this is the most important task of this lab. Okay. So it's done. Click on sign up for now. So sign up for email ad. Click on sign up, then copy your username, paste over here, copy your password, paste over here, company name Google. You can give any name. Phone number is not required, so just rip, uh, ignore that and click on sign up. Now again wait for a few seconds and here type user and user click on let's start now it will take a couple of minutes so kindly wait for that
so it's finally done now here please pay attention simply click on let's start let's go and uh, now click on continue and now click on this gear icon from here click on this connector setting and now in general click on this first and uncheck this check box and save now it will be off so once it's off automatically simply click on blue xp now click on add working environment from here choose your google cloud and single node click on next Now for your cluster name, you can give any cluster name. I'm just giving quick lab. Okay, you can give any cluster name. And for password, I will recommend you to just use the lab credentials password. Password and paste over here also. Simply click on run. No need to make any other changes, guys. Now here, just uh, disable this thing and it will ask. Just say, I'm not sure what is the use of that. And click on continue. Now here no need to make any changes just make sure your zone and region must be us central one and us central one eight click on this uh, checkbox and uh, click on continue and from here just choose the premium the last option and simply click on continue now here click on this change configuration and first of all we need to change the version just wait for a few seconds and you will get an option for change version click on that and from here choose the last version called on tab 9.7 p yes p5 okay choose this version and simply click on apply now here machine time choose the first one high mem and when a high mem 4 and simply click on continue again wait for a few seconds and from here choose the standard and it must be 100 gb simply click on continue no need to make any changes over here and here also no need to make any changes simply skip and from here just simply click on this check boxes and click on go so you are done with the task number two now it will going to take around 10 to 15 minutes as given in the live instruction if you just scroll down we have done all this part and i try to make it as simple as possible and he will here you will see take around 10 minutes to complete it so just relax now the last thing what you have to do come on the task number three copy this command go to your uh, dashboard and run the command over here okay so now it will take few seconds so just wait for that and it's done now if you just simply click on check my progress you will done with the task number three and no need to perform task number four and five now just wait for at least 10 minutes and here you will get option premium okay now just wait and if you face any error over here just ignore that error just wait for here and one more thing guys please make sure your laptop will not go for a sleep okay and for for me i i am able to see only one cloud it may be possible you are able to see two clouds over here with other uh, terminologies so do not worry about that we just need to uh, work on this thing cloud uh, volume on tap so just wait and make sure your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise this process will be terminate and you will face the issue
so it's finally done and you will must see this kind of output when it's successfully done so now if i just simply click on check my progress i will get a score for sure without any issue i hope you guys like the video if you still have have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching guys and have a good day okay yeah so that's the thing we, uh, which i am talking about like google cloud storage yeah this bucket uh, it's uh, will be appear okay so yeah thanks for watching and have a good day guys